COR. So now what you've seen here is that um, uh, that in the same reaction, the oxidation has happened from first to the al first the alcohol to the methyl ketone group, and then the methyl ketone will undergo this following route to form iodoform. So this is what you need to remember now. Uh, most secondary alcohols can give this because uh, if you see that all the secondary alcohols which have CH3, CHOH and then an R group uh, attached here can give this reaction and the only, um, I'm sorry about that, but the only, but the only primary alcohol, the only primary alcohol that gives this reaction is ethanol and ethanol gives this reaction because um, you, if you see, ethanol oxidizes to ethanol, and ethanol is nothing but so this is ethanol. Now you can see you have a methyl ketone group, so even this can undergo the uh, uh, this reaction, which forms triiodomethane. So actually, this is uh, this is. This is very easy, but what you have to, so it's easy when you have direct, when you are directly using the ketone, the methyl ketone, but when you have an alcohol, first check if it oxidizes to give the CH3CO group. If it does oxidize to give the CH3CO group, then it can be used uh, for the formation of triiodomethane, which is also known as iodoform and is a yellow precipitate. So, we are done with this chapter of carbonyl compounds. It's a very easy chapter. So you can practice uh, papers at gcguide.org. The link is in the description. And you can email me your doubts at alevelchemistryfree at gmail.com. Uh, the email ID is also in the description. So keep practicing, keep revising, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned.